first of all, I gotta say congratulations to the film. I love this world. I love the world building of John Wick. It's just so much fun. It's so rich. Um, the stunts and action sequences uh, with each movie pick pick it up a pace, and, and they're just top notch. Uh, did your training regiment have to change at all with and, and going to eighty seven eleven? Um, yeah, it was uh, it was more. <laughs> you know, I, I had the benefit of the training for for John Wick, and then training for John Wick Chapter Two. And so I got a little bit better, you know, just a little higher hand, um, just because you're doing the reps, right? You're doing sure. all the work for all the judo, all of the weapons training. Um, and in this one, it had some knives and some swords and some horse riding. So there was new things to do and learn, uh, which is the gift of John Wick. The, that knife scene was <laughs> amazing. And I, it was almost hard for my eyes to keep up with it. It's like eye candy for action sequences. Yeah. How tough was that? How challenging was that for you? Uh, that was really tough and really challenging and really fun. Yeah. Um, Halle Berry is a new character that's added to the John Wick franchise. Um, how does she push you as an actor and what does her character bring to the franchise? Uh, well, the character, we have a past and I go to Halle Berry's character, Sophia, for some help. Um, and I have her marker. Ha, 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 ha. So she's, she's got, you know, she has some obligations that she might not want to fulfill. Right. Um, do you know, Hallie is a wonderful artist, and there's such depth, and for the action, there was such commitment, and she's so great at, at, at the drama, at characterization, and honesty, and she's great with the action. Now, the Continental, uh, it's not John Safehaven anymore, and mm -hmm. he, he can't use that as a safety net. So how does that push John this time around in John Wick 3? He's alone. He has to fend for himself. Yeah, so part of the film is how does he solve this situation, the consequences, right? So the film starts right after Chapter 2, and he's got an hour, right? Winston gave him, but he's excommunicado, and there's an open contract, but he's got an hour, so he's got to figure something out. And that's the... Um, the hijinks of the film, from John's character. There's a new other hijinks for other characters. I never want to see this franchise end. No, but really? Okay, it, cool. I never want to see it end. But if it does That's come cool. to an end, uh, would you rather see John walk off into the sunset or die in battle? Hmm. Hmm. If it was Marvel, I could do both. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 I could die in battle and then come back. <laughs> come back, exactly. Um... But uh, what would I prefer? I want John to be happy, so let's have him walk out in the sunset. Because he's not, he's fighting for his life. So if there's a battle to be won, it's his life. Um, so that he can remember the love and for Helen. And uh, so walk off into the sunset.